You were in Baltimore and you were doing very well. And you and Kathy physically did give everything up. And then you started all over again, basically. We did. And, uh, and again, I have to give her more credit uh, for me because, you know, she really, as a young wife, was going to be a stay-at-home mom. We already put money down on our first house. Um, wow. So she really gave up <clears throat> more than I, you know, had given up, even though we both gave up a lot. So we understand the cost because, because we've experienced the cost and continue to experience the cost. And so I wanted to put that out there uh, just to be authentic. So uh, of the many amazing, extraordinary people that I've had the pleasure of learning about and interviewing this year, a few of some of my most rewarding conversations, it was said from some extraordinary individuals, tell them all the bad stuff first. It's like, it's almost like this common pattern of people that, that are doing something, that are, that, are, that are sharing some form of truth. Yeah. When the, I guess, the, we, we all have ideas but there's people that share them and there's people that don't. There's some kind of, you know, obstacle. There's always an obstacle that, that individuals that don't write this book. Mm -hmm. Where did the power come from to do it anyway? Well, I, I, I think at a human level, it came from just the absence of fear. Like, I, I'm more interested in pleasing God and I'm more interested in doing what I believe God wants me to do than I am people's opinions of that. Right? So... One of the keys, and I, and I write about this as well, to really serving the Lord well is to really be about what God wants us to be doing and about his business and pleasing the Lord and be less about trying to please other people. And so that, that was really the way that you know, I overcame that. It was really say, okay, Lord, what do you want me to do? I'm willing to do whatever you want me to do. What do you want me to do? Wow. Okay, now the order of the... Spiritual growth and motion came first. What, what was your first, what, was, what year did, this, did you write this book in? I believe I published that, I want to say 2015, but I really wrote it a year before. In 2014, 2014 that time range. 14, 13. 